Assalamu alaikum. I have this corrupted BIOS file. It belongs to MSI laptop. The issue of the laptop is turning on with a black screen. The file size is 32 megabyte as you can see. If I open the file using hex editor, I can tell this is the descriptor region. I know it from here. So the CPU of this laptop should be Intel. The full length 2 million because the file size is 32 megabyte. Here is all what I know about the laptop, model number and serial number. I can find them here. No, perhaps without MSI. Yes, here. This is our model and this should be the serial. Yes, it is. So, if I analyze the file using ME Analyzer, file system state is initialized because the file is used. It is not a clean file. From the version of ME, I can know that this laptop should has Intel 11th Gen CPU. Let's check our serial number using this website. Just solve this easy or simple equation, 30 plus 1. Here is the full model number, so I am sure from what I do. Let's Download the BIOS. My model is this one. Which one is mine? Here it says that if your old BIOS or your old version is 1xx, choose this one. If it was 3xx, choose this one. So how can I know that? Uh, this keyword is important. I can copy it like this. I can't find the keyword here because it could be encrypted. So. I will open my file using UEFI tool new engine. This tool can decompress the file and decrypt some useful data. Here I have three results. I can hex view. I can choose hex view to see, but I can search here. So maybe I can extract it like this. Then save the file. This one. I can search now. It is 10B. So my old file is belongs to this one, not this one. It is 10, 1, 0, B. So I will choose this version. Here is what I get. Just extract the file. This one. Okay, it refused to copy it, so no problem. 
it looks a full bias image you can just use this one as is I just will save it let's see type new dot pen it is 32 megabyte if I analyze the file it is configured means me is cleaned I think it has the same version SQ and chipset I can use this file but I have to transfer the DMI and Windows key so let's see how to do that as you can see here if I search for Windows key can't find it but here the Windows key is exist so I will open the file using UEFI tool alt engine my I will open the corrupted file the original file we'll search for the hex value of the OEM Windows key let's clear this it should be there in this padding also we'll search for the serial and the other DMI data we'll copy this hex value it is in the same padding if you want to search you can just search from here or press also in hex editor find I have to extract this padding extract as is dmi plus windows key now open this one using your hex editor here is the windows key and our dmi so all what i need is here i will copy these lines and search here to find our offset it is this one we should start from here so in the new file we'll go to the same offset you can use this one to go to here I shall start from here so I will copy all of this and paste right after that save the file now this file is our final and we can use it for our laptop I am very sure that this file will fix any issue because it is a version BIOS we didn't touch anything just we transferred the DMI and Windows key I hope you learned something new in this video and we'll see you soon inshallah assalamu alaikum